Okay. So, uh, you want me to start this thing? This is Bobby Puglio, and we're going to watch my static two part. There was a lot of friction in the editing process. There was things that, that arose that, you know, I felt super passionate about. But at the end of the day, Josh had to make, um, had to make a video. He was thinking of the whole video, not just my part. Yeah. Where I was only thinking of my part, you know. But ultimately, it came out fine. And you know what's funny too is that after I used that King song, like four different people came out using different King songs. But uh, you know, whatever. That's maybe the only clip I've ever filmed without my shirt on, which is like a sacrilege to me to, to film a trick without a shirt on. I did the back tail slide and then I think later on somebody was like, oh, th this dude had a back tail slide in it in 401. And uh, I remember, I don't know where the hell it was, but I remember seeing it and it was like a little scratch. And I was like, I felt a little bad, but then I was like, ah, that, I think my, my back key was maybe better, so. Sorry about you. Billy Rohan actually front I flipped into that, which is super sick. This thing is one of my favorite things I ever filmed. I deck checked it, but yeah, you know, I don't, I don't give a fuck. I was just trying to go up the damn thing. Okay, so this is a funny story. Snowy had done this, basically the same thing. I had never seen his Nolly full cab over the bench until like this whole war erupted between Josh and I about some tricks on this, that, that bench spot, which is coming up. This was used as like uh, fodder against some of my logic uh, in terms of, you know, different uh, philosophies on filming tricks first and who did what. Nowadays, all that stuff has kind of went out the door because there's just so much that, so much content that's generated every single minute. But uh, back then, it was like kind of a big deal to like, you know, not trick, not film a trick that had already been done on a spot. Um, you know, obviously, like I said before, with that back tail slide, it was another thing if it, if a trick was done kind of like. I, and again, I'm not saying that that dude did that trick sh shitty, but. You know, if you're just gonna scratch a little grind or something on something and you can kind of like do it better. You know, it's another thing if you also, if you know that somebody's done something already, you know, and they do it good, then you should probably acquiesce and not release your trick. The, again, like I said, that shit goes out the door these days because kids are doing tricks that have been done like 20, 20, 25 years ago at this point. And they probably don't even know it. Uh, but that's their fault. So the story goes is that film those two tricks and then, you know, I think Ollie Todd was like, oh man, like no one ever really filmed tricks like that before, you know, on the bottom bench, like backside 5-0 coming fake, you know, whatever. Next thing I know, I think Josh had maybe shown the video to, or somehow Nick Jensen saw the tricks or somebody told him the tricks and, you know, Obviously, it's the way it goes. Like, you hear certain things, you go back, blah, blah, blah. And I had left London, and Nick took, or, or they went, Nick and Josh went back there. I don't even know if Josh filmed them. I think Josh filmed them. But then Nick did uh, front side blunt slide to fakie. And I was like, oh, damn, if I had more time there, I, that's, I, you know, I only got to skate that spot, like, pretty much like that day. And, you know, once you leave a spot, you skate it, your kind of mind, your mind starts going and you're like, oh, I want to do this there. I want to do that there. For me, it wasn't, I couldn't go back because I was like on a plane back to New York. And next thing I know, I'm down in Florida editing my part. And I'm like, all right, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I think I got Josh to show me like the video, you know, like and I'm watching the video and all of a sudden before my part was actually supposed to be last in the video. And, uh, 
basically I'm watching the video and I see Nick Jensen's trick come up on the spot and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, why, how is he going to have his trick in the video before mine? Like, I'm the one that came up with skating that spot that way. And you're going to like, everyone's going to like see that and the credit is going to go to Nick. Like, and it's, plus it's a bet, those are better tricks than mine. And he was like, oh, you know, sorry. I, like, Josh, you know, I, I don't want to say like filmers don't think like that. Filmers just think of like making a video, you know, like, but to the skater, it's like, you know, it's like, I don't know, it's like fucking graffiti. Like, if you paint a spot and your name's up there and then some kid goes up and paints over your name, it's like, what the fuck are you doing, you know? So, um, so anyhow, so I made a, I, I, I almost like lost my mind over this. I was like, there's no way he can have that trick before mine. And I think Josh was like, Took, he told me he was going to take it out and he took it out and then as soon as I left he just put it back in and then it went out to video and I I nearly like lost my mind I was like ready to kill him and uh, yeah and so there's more to the story but you know we'll deal with that another time Here's this line, I guess what would be called Little Italy. I have a, uh, a running joke where I want to make this shirt that says, Welcome to Little Italy in the heart of Chinatown. So you had to thread the needle there. It doesn't look like much, but man, that was super hard. A lot of this stuff, I was kind of like the first person to kind of hit it. So I don't want to say like low hanging fruit. I, I didn't feel the need to like go crazy. I just wanted to get one trick and get the fuck out of there. The other thing is that those cellar doors are super loud and they attract a lot of attention. So they get you kicked out of spots real fast. So I was just happy to get, you know, anything on any cellar door. I want to say first uh, person to film a trick. There was a bunch of stuff filmed after this. And uh, all I can say is that those suckers didn't think about skating it like this. So hoorah. One other thing, that's the, the street. A lot of people call that cobblestone. Those are actually called Belgian blocks. And those are, in, that's in Dumbo. And the reason they're called Belgian blocks is because cobblestones are actually round. I don't know what the fuck made me think I could ollie that. The thing about skate parks back then is that it was kind of taboo to have tricks at a skate park in a, in a street park. But uh, Owl's Head Park, there it is. In my slap interview, instead of Nolly nose blunt slide, I did switch blunt slide. Back in the day, I was super conscious of, uh, you know, not trying to take photographs of tricks and film other tricks so there was like variety. But nowadays, like you're dead in the water if you don't film anything, every, anything and everything. Weird place. They found a dead body in the bowl one time. Those big banks, who the hell knows why they built those, but then they knobbed them and then people started doing tricks over the knobs, which I thought was kind of dumb, but you know, whatever. I don't know what the fuck made me think I could nose grind it. I swear to God, I have never done that trick in my entire life, and I was just able to do it. But the SF footage, it's funny how it like sticks out like a sore thumb. This is, I think, the first tricks ever filmed on this thing. The possibilities for this thing were endless, but I, like I said, I was just like, this is the first time anybody skated it, so you know, you don't have to like go super hard on it. Steve, Randy, and I were skating this, and I think I started doing the switch ollie, and Steve, then like I hadn't done it yet, and all of a sudden he started trying to switch, switch ollie, and I was like, what the fuck is this dude doing right now? And uh, all of a sudden I felt super like pressured to like make this thing before he did it because I really wanted to switch ollie over a bump to bar in my park. It wasn't like Steve was trying to like take me out. We just he just started trying to switch ollie like and I was like, you know, sometimes people will ask you like if you're trying the same trick, like, hey, do you mind if I try that too? He might even ask me that. In my mind I was like, yeah, I fucking mind, but out of my mouth I was like, no. Yeah, I wish I would have popped out a little bit better out of that thing. I want to say first trick ever filmed like this on this thing. And this thing was like strangely difficult to skate. 
I can only imagine kids now would probably like ollie over to like lip slide on that top thing, but that spot's gone, so they ain't doing that. Shine, shine, shine.